So you this dope photographer. You got a portfolio full of just models in the water, just glistening and just beautiful women and the sunset. You got them with the hair all wet and bikinis and all this dope stuff. But you're not making no money. What if I told you to stop taking pictures of people? Yeah, we're talking about that today. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? My name is Ty Turner here at Flash Film Academy and this channel is for people who want to turn their passion into profit. For those that want to get that bag, you can go to other channels to learn how to work Photoshop. But here I'm going to show you how to add to your bank account using your camera. Today I want to talk to a lot of people, a lot of my photographer guys. I see a lot of photographers who take pictures of models, man. They got beautiful, beautiful content. Or at least the women are beautiful and it tricky thing about doing model photography is you don't really know if people like your photography or they like the model because I've seen some really bad photography of really beautiful models and photography of people is a tricky slippery slope it's probably the easiest entry point into photography and something people just naturally gravitate to but it's not the most lucrative models don't really pay a lot now don't get me wrong there are some that do but beautiful models can usually find 12 photographers, especially guys that are willing to take their images for free, especially if they're wearing less clothes than normal. It seems like the least amount of clothes they're willing to wear, the more photographers are lined up to take their pictures. So it's really difficult making a living off of model photography. However, there's some ways you can tweak certain things to make money. Next time you have that model laying in the sand and she's there holding herself or barely covering whatever, I want you to go down by her and put a Corona in her hand. Light that Corona, then take the picture. Why? because product photography is way more valuable than booty photography. Let me say that again. Product photography is way more valuable than booty photography. A lot of you guys are booty photographers. I call them picture mans. Picture man, picture man, yeah, that's me. You're the equivalent of the guy in the club with that old camera shooting with the stock lens that's at f5.8 with some big old flash and he got this printer hooked to the side of him and he taking your picture and he trying to put it in the envelope and give it to you and you standing in front of the tupac poster you, you're pretty much that guy picture man every club got one some of y'all uncles was picture mans he told you he was in the photography but he really just put it on auto and just take pictures of people in front of tupac posters the point that i'm trying to prove is product photography is extremely important today, especially with the increase of online sales. Product photography is valuable. So when you go out and you're getting beautiful picture shots, you're getting some lady crossing the street, put a Louis Vuitton bag in her hand, put an umbrella in her hand, put some type of product on her and create the shoot based off that product and not just her. There's a million booty picture guys out here. There are few that understand how to light a product. Focus on lighting those products. Focus on making sure that Coca-Cola pops in her hand and the water is drizzling down and you got a flash dedicated to illuminating it from the bottom. That is how you make money in this industry because I guarantee you there is a mom and pop shop somewhere around you that sells some sort of specialty item and they want images for it. And listen to this. Once you take the pictures, if you got the right contract, you can license the images to the company and they can renew that license every year. That way, instead of saying it's going to be $10,000 for this picture, I'm just going to charge you $1,000 a year and you can just license it for however many years you want. Now you can make 5,000 off of that, or you can make 50. But what you're doing is you're providing a solution for a company and not a booty for a picture. This licensing model also work with real estate photography. 
especially if you go after apartment complexes. They tend to use images for a long time. If you go after people who have Airbnb, they tend to use images for a long time. So get used to taking those beautiful models and putting them in places where you highlight the product or the environment or the situation as well as the model. The model should just be a part of it. You can specialize in just Amazon listings and do plain white background images and make a killing. There are companies that just do Amazon listings and people send the product in, you take a picture of it, you send the picture back. Those are a lot harder to license. However, you can do 50, 60, $70 maybe a photo session and you can get a company that have a thousand products to sell and boom, now you've made $10,000. Get out of the mindset of just taking pictures of people and get into the mindset of products. Products pay a lot more money, a lot more money than people. Take the expertise you have in capturing images of people and apply it to that product photography. Just a close up of that hand grabbing a Miller light out of a well lit cooler. It's more profitable than some hot model just standing around. That's why a lot of you are successful on Instagram because people like to see booties and sex sales, but it doesn't relate to money. It doesn't relate to a lifestyle. Product photographers can make two, three hundred thousand a shoot. The most renowned product photographers make a crazy living doing product photography. Like it's it's absolutely nuts. So before you spend time on lighting that lady, go and shoot a picture of a bottle. Go in your kitchen right now, find a product and find a way to take great images of it. I don't care if it's a can of freaking Crisco. Put it on a stove in front of some fruit or something, properly light it and take dope images of it. That is where the money is. That is how you get your name out here and become successful. There are tons of ways to make money away from taking pictures of people. Unfortunately, a lot of you guys focus on people and people pay the least amount because iPhones do a damn good job taking pictures of people. So go in your garage, get one of those quartz of motor oil, sit it up on your hood, light it in a way where it's dope and take the picture. Now put that on Instagram and tag whoever makes the oil or whatever product that you're shooting. And if they reshare it, Guess who's popular now? Guess who's one of the go-to guys for oil photography in the nation? You are. That's how you get discovered. And they may come to you next time and say, hey, um, we need you to fly over here and shoot some pictures of these products and we'll pay you whatever thousands of dollars or license the, the images from you. I had a situation with Red Bull where I showed up to one of their events outshot the photographer they had for one of their sporting events. And guess who they called next time they had a sporting event? This guy, mind you, the guy who was there had a 1DX and I had a T3i. So keep that in mind as you go out and you're looking to capture models, find a product. I don't care if it's an umbrella. I don't care if she's popping Skittles in her mouth. I don't care what she's doing. She can be holding a Kit Kat and a cup of coffee. Who gives a damn? But you need to highlight those products and they need to be the focus point of your images moving forward because that is how you get paid. The idea of taking pictures of products and putting them on your Instagram and tagging that company is a little industry secret on how to get discovered. It works for a lot of people. I'm sharing that with you for two easy payments a free 99. But if you took the portfolio course, you probably have some of this information. It's available at flashfilmacademy.com. Anyway, if you have questions you want to talk, post it in the comments. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Ashley Curry, CEO of Peak Video LLC. So what I love about Flash Film Academy is that they address the business side. There's a lot of courses about how to light a scene or what type of framing you should use, but 
not a lot of courses go through the meat and potatoes of what do you do when you get a client? How do you close those deals? What, are the, what is the paperwork and what is the process that they need to go through on the back end? A lot of times we focus on the picture and how to make it look great, but very rarely do we focus on how to monetize that skill set once we get it down. Flash Film Academy helps you to monetize that skill set so that you can get the results that you need. Thank <laughs> you.